Chi Chin Chong on Laserdisc. Coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back to the 5R Show. I'm your host, Raymond, and today we're taking a look at the U.S. Laserdisc versions of Chi Chin Chong's Up in Smoke and Chi Chin Chong's Next Movie. Now, as you can see, I got really lucky and I found these out here in Japan and I thought to myself, why in the world would these movies be in Japan? I'm not sure if you guys know, but in Japan, they have a high intolerance for anything that has to do with drugs. Kids always say no to drugs. Okay, period. All right, so you can imagine my surprise when I find these two on Laserdisc. And <laughs> for the price, I just could not leave them behind. One of the things that I liked about Cheech and Chong was their wacky adventures, per se. Now, here's the thing. When I was a kid... My mom and dad would go to the VHS, the, the movie rental store, and we'd, you know, they'd pick up a, a movie here and there. Of course, we were not allowed. My parents were good people. They, well, sort of. They said we were not allowed to watch this movie. But as a kid, when they tell you you can't do something, obviously you're going to do the opposite. And so we would sneak behind the sofa quietly and just watch. And while they're laughing and having a good time, we were watching it too, trying to understand what these movies were about. Uh, so when I was a kid and I saw, you know, uh, Cheech and Chong smoking, I said, well, what's the big deal? They're smoking a big cigarette. Uh, obviously, at that age, uh, I was unaware of drugs. I had no idea. But that was with Up and Smoke. Now, there was a lot of things that I thought were funny. Again, the, the wacky adventures that they have, I, I think, were funny. Uh, but when it got into the next movie, Cheech and Chong's next movie... We uh, we kind of knew a little bit more, and we started learning. Now, God created the Garden of Eden, and the snake tempted Eve with fruit from the Tree of Knowledge. And so Eve took that fruit, ate, and gave some to Adam. Okay, I believe everything that is written in the Bible. Okay, but now. If I apply this to myself, to my life, when I was a kid, I would consider this the fruit that I took. So when I saw these movies, I lost my innocence, per se. Okay? I wanted to say that while these movies are not for children at all, it didn't stop us back in the day from watching these movies. So, I want to get into it now with Up in Smoke. Now, one of the things that I really dig about this laser is just the, the simplicity of the artwork. Of, of, it's just, look at those thumbs. <laughs> that's, that's cool. It's made by Pioneer, the art of entertainment, Paramount. Laser disc, digital sound. Now again, these are the U.S. versions. On the back, you have Cheech and Chong when Cheech pick, picks up Chong for the first time, and you know he tricks him into giving him a ride. Down here, they're talking about something, a phone number. I'm guessing I forgot what it was, but they're doing some. Over here, you see Cheech in a in a uh, moped with his cousin. I forgot his name, but that was a whole wacky situation. And uh, and towards uh, 
the last picture here, they're playing in a band. And again, these movies were really made for adults. Okay, um, if I'll take your attention here, this is 1978, this is rated R, laser disc, and here is the FBI warning. Okay. Uh, this laser disc is extended play CLV in this format. It can offer chapter search, scan, pause, and dual channel sound depending on the recorded contents. When not in use, plays laser disc in jack and store in cool, dry place. Okay, so again, this is 1978. I am only six, seven years old when I saw this. Okay, so I didn't know any better. But anyway. Let's get into it and I'll show you what's inside. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the American versions do not come with an insert. And if they do, this one did not have it. But what it did come with was a sleeve that was uh, a very fancy sleeve, to tell you the truth. And uh, I will show you. It is pretty clean, and as you can see, 1978, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, okay? Now, oh, I see now. Okay, this iteration was actually made in 1995. Okay, so while the movie was released in 78, the laser disc was released in 1995. And so this is side two, and then this is side one. Okay, and that does it for this disc. All right, let's put this away. All right, and now let's go on with Cheech and Chong's next movie. Once again, uh, the artwork is not as good as the first one. It is a little dumbed down on the second one, but you got to give it to them on the Impala. That looks pretty cool. It's, you know, there they are smoking, because that's what they do. And then they kind of made the. Uh, artwork into kind of a cartoony type deal okay so here you are laser disc uh, Cheech and Chong's next movie but this one was released by MCA home theater now here you have the license plate smoke it it is very questionable <laughs> okay uh, the art was made by Hamagami Hamagami I don't know if the other one has a name, but no, the other has the other art does not have a name, only this one. Okay, and on the back here you have uh, Chichin Chong in the fixed up uh, van, and then you have them, of course, in a jacuzzi when they visit uh, a questionable place. Okay, so of course it's very simple. Gives you all the information on the back. 1984. Uh, I don't know if this... Well, we'll find out in a minute. So, I don't know if this was released in 94 or if it was released later. But, okay, let's get that disc out and check. So now... Here we are. And this laser disc... Is claiming 1980, 1984, and that's it. I cannot find another date. So most likely it is 1984, which is kind of strange. But it could be due to the fact that maybe Up in Smoke came out afterwards when they had already reached this format. Maybe the next movie was already 
first to go. So, anyway, that does it for Cheech and Chong. Uh, I do have memories of these movies simply because my dad and mom would watch them. Uh, when I got older, I watched them, old enough to understand them. Um, in today's world, you know that these movies are made to tempt the young ones. In a way, they're part of my life history because as a kid, I used to hear Cheech and Chong and say, oh, that's that funny couple, the, 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 the funny pair of guys that would just make me laugh. And they did so many dumb things and so many <laughs> silly things. And um, in a way, it's funny, but at the same time, I've come to the crossroads, if you will. I've outgrown these, of course, but they're just a, a memory for me. This is maybe this isn't about the actual movie as much as it is about me watching this movie when my parents were around. Uh, I can see my parents just sitting there both together watching this movie, laughing and having a good time. And I could probably, I, I wouldn't have known back then that today a memory of my mom and dad having fun watching a movie would have been more important than the actual movies themselves. So while some of these things do have emotional attachment to some of you, in this case, for me, the attachment is of my mom and dad laughing. And I think that's what's important to me. So anyway, that does it for Cheech and Chong. Okay, I know you guys are out there having fun. But uh, I tell you, you're going to have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review of these two Cheech and Chong movies from the 80s. Thanks for watching. Share, like, comment. Let us know what you think. Did you ever see these movies? Would you allow your children to watch these movies? So, <laughs> anyway, so thanks for watching. God bless you. Take care, and I will see you guys on the next 5-Hour Show.